Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel Diana and the Book Hunt. If the editing gods will allow, I'll be posting this video on the 31st of December, which is the last day of the year. And what better day to pick to discuss things that I'm looking forward to in the new year than today. Um, I'm going to discuss with you my most anticipated releases of 2023 today. Uh, these are all books that will be coming out, at least I hope that they'll be coming out in 2023 because some of them were supposed to release this year but were pushed back to 2023. So let's hope that everything will come out on time. And some of these books are really by authors that I'm familiar with and are favorites of mine. So I'm looking forward to new releases by them. Some of them are series that I'm continuing on with. Um, some of them are by new to me authors, so I'm excited to try those out. So yeah, it would have been a nice aesthetic to have 23 books that release in 2023, but I think I have more. I think I have about 27 books, if I'm not mistaken. So all the more chance for you to add them to your TBR if you haven't come across them yet. And I'm just going to shortly tell you the titles and the authors and the tropes within the book so you can kind of pique your interest and then add them to your TBR if you like them. And I'm going to tell you maybe why I'm excited about them if there is something that's kind of stuck out to me. So let's just go ahead and start. I'm going to do them in the order of their release. At least I'm going to try. And the first book that comes out that I'm interested in is by Megan Quinn. The book is called A Long Time Coming. It's the third book within uh, the series that follows, follows the Kane brothers. Uh, the first one being uh, A Not So Meet Cute. I love that book. I gave it five stars. It was one of my favorites of the year. So I definitely want to continue on with the series. I've heard some mixed reviews about the second book that I haven't read yet. I'm going to pick it up to see whether I like it or not. But I definitely want to read the three books because, um, yeah, the third book is supposed to be good as well. So we're just going to wait and see. I'm going to be picking it up regardless and I'll let you know what I think about it. The next book that comes out in January is by Vi Keeland. Last year in January, she released The Summer Proposal, which was again one of my favorites of the year. So um, I definitely want to read another romance by this author. She's a favorite of mine. Uh, the book is called The Game, and it's another sports romance that involves um, a woman who just inherited a football team and she has a romance with one of the players. So it's kind of forbidden workplace and sports romance as well. Sounds good to me. I definitely want to pick it up. Next up, we have um, a book that is by a new to me author. I don't know how I came across it. I think I was browsing lists with books that are going to be coming out in the new year and I came across it. I saw the cover, I saw the synopsis and I was like, okay, this sounds good. The book is called 7% of Roe Devereaux by Ellen O'Clover. The book is coming out on January 17th and it's a debut young adult novel about a girl who creates an app that goes viral and that impacts her relationships including also a budding romance between herself and her ex-best friend. So that sounds cute to me and I definitely want to pick it up. You're going to see somewhere above also that the cover is gorgeous so let's hope that the book is as gorgeous as its cover. And then we're moving on to the later releases in January where we have a book by Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. I love this author duo. I read The Roughest Draft by them last year and I really loved it. They're releasing a book which is called Do I Know You? And the book is a marriage and trouble um, trope where the couple wants to spark new life into their relationship and go uh, to a getaway retreat to try to achieve that. So I'm really a sucker for a marriage and trouble trope and um, I want to pick up books with this trope to see how people who are in a long-term relationship overcome the obstacles within their long-term relationship. So I really have high hopes for this one, especially because I also love The Roughest Draft and I really hope I love it. The next book is by a new to me author and it just sounded really good. I'm going to tell you why in a second. The book is called Sorry Bro by Talene Voscuni 
And the synopsis says that it's about an American Armenian woman who rediscovers her roots and embraces who she really is um, in this queer rom com by the author Talin Voskuni. So the thing is, why it's interesting for me, um, my stepdad is actually Armenian, and I know a lot about their culture, about their traditions, and I really want to read a romance which focuses on an Armenian American woman who is rediscovering her roots. It just sounds fun to me. I want to see references that I'm going to recognize and I really hope that I love it as much as I hope. Um, so yeah, that one comes out on January 31st and I'm definitely going to be picking it up. If, if I'm not mistaken, I actually also have it um, planned to release in Storytel as well. So I really hope that I'm right because I want to listen to the audiobook for it as well. So let's just wait out and see. So we're moving on to the February releases where on February 10th we have Powerless coming out by Elsie Silver. This is the third book within the um, Chestnut Springs series that has been loved by everyone on booktube including me. Uh, we had a uh, Heartless, which was the second book, and Flawless, which was the first book, focusing on Rhett and Cade. Um, and now the third book will focus on their best friend Jasper. And I really can't wait for it. Uh, I've loved both of the books and everyone has been loving both of the books. So I kind of don't doubt that Powerless will be just as good as well. And then moving on to February 21st, we have the second book within the Knock em Out uh, series by Lucy Score. It's going to be called Things We Hide From The Light. And it will focus on Knox's brother, um, Nash, who is also the police chief uh, within the small town. I loved the first book, Things We Never Got Over. I really enjoyed it. It's a rom-com that really left me uh, feeling very light-hearted and it was fun and it was engaging and entertaining so I really hope that I get the same out of the second book. Those were the releases that I have that I'm looking forward to in February. Um, next up we have a couple of releases in April. I don't know why I haven't found any books that will come out in March but Anyway, in April, we have a book that sounds just so good by what I read in a post on Instagram. Devney Perry will be releasing a sports romance called Coach. And the only thing that you need to know about it is that it's a single dad trope and it's a sports romance. What more do we need? I really am looking forward to this book. It comes out on April 6th. So I've mentioned this before, but Abby Jimenez wrote a book, Part of Your World, that was one of my favorites of the year this year. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that she's writing on within that world. The book will, um, that focuses on uh, one of the characters from the first book um, that will come out in 2023 is called Yours Truly. And it will focus on one of Alexis's friends. Her name is Brie. And she's a re recent divorcee and she has a rivals to lover situation with one of the doctors uh, that works at the hospital where she works. So I am very intrigued. I love part of your world and I have high hopes for this one as well. So we'll be treated by another new release by Emily Henry next year, which is called Happy Place. I do have to say that I really love Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. Book Lovers was not a favorite of mine, but I hope that that's just a one-off and that I'm going to be loving the new release called Happy Place. Um, the book, I think, centers on two people who have split up, but they agree to pretend to still be dating in front of their friends when they go on this retreat that they need to go to. Um, so it has fake dating uh, involved within the story and second chance and I don't know, maybe kind of like a relationship in trouble trope. So I'm very cu curious to see whether I'm going to love this one or whether it's going to be another disappointment like book lovers. We'll just have to wait and see. So in 2022, I read the Twisted series by Anna Huang and I really, really enjoyed that series. So I vowed to myself that I want to pick up more books by this author. And she just recently released the first book within her Kings of Sin series. That is a new 
um, new kind of series that does have characters that were involved in the Twisted series, but it's kind of like a spin-off. Um, and the second book within that series is going to be coming out in um, April of 2023, on the 27th to be exact, and it's called King of Pride. The nice thing about it is that when the second book releases, I'll be able to binge the two of them back to back. So I'm definitely going to wait that out. Um, I'm not going to be picking up the first book before that. And we'll just have to wait and see how I like it, whether I'll like it as much as the Twisted series. Christina Lauren, um, this author duo, they've released a couple of books in the past that haven't worked very well for me, especially their latest release, uh, Something Wilder, was not a hit for me, but I still want to give them a chance to see how their latest release will um, work out for me, whether I'm going to enjoy it or not. The book is called The True Love Experiment, and um, the synopsis that I saw on Goodreads says that it's about a romance novelist and a documentary filmmaker who join forces to craft the perfect Hollywood love story um, so that they can be taken to their next level within their career, but they possibly fall in love with each other. So yeah, sounds good. I hope that it's as good as it sounds. I hope that it's better than something wilder and we'll wait and see. It releases on May 16th. So um, yeah, it's going to be one that I possibly will pick up as a summer read. Um, and then we have Ali Hazelwood, who will be releasing her next standalone novel. It's again going to be a stemnist uh, rom-com, uh, as we're used to from her now. The book is called Love Theoretically. It will come out on June 13th, and it involves a uh, rivals to lovers situation with fake dating involved. And yeah, I'm, I'm only worried that this book may seem too similar to the other two releases that we've read already. I was already worried about Love on the Brain, um, that it will kind of be too much similar to The Love Hypothesis, but it still was very distinctive, so I could uh, very much make a difference between the two. But if we get too many stories where we have rivals to lovers, um, fake dating, and things that kind of look too much like the other two books. I'm a bit afraid about that, but I hope that my fears will not um, come true and that I'll still love this story as much as the other two. I became interested in the next book because I saw Caitlin from The Love Librarian uh, recommend this book on her Instagram profile. Uh, the book is called What the Heart Wants by Nikki Ash and I saw that it involves a widow who is now a single mom and she has two new suitors who are interested in her so we possibly may have a love triangle on our hands here and that sounds really good to me so I definitely want to pick that one up. It comes out on June 15th and then I don't know why. <laughs> I now see that I have two books that are going to release in February in my midst so I apologize for that but I'll just tell you which ones those are. I haven't talked about Alexis Daria in a while. I read You Had Me at Ola and A Lot Like Adios at the end of 2021 and I love those books so I'm definitely happy that she's going to be having a new release in 2023. The book is called Take the Lead and it comes out on February 14th, Valentine's Day. I really definitely will pick this book up as soon as it comes out because it sounds so good. The book is about a dancer who is performing on this type of show like Dancing with the Stars and she is falling for her newest, latest partner. I really want to read this book. I can't wait for it to come out, so I definitely will. And then the next one that releases also in February. I don't know what I've done here. Oh my gosh, I haven't ordered them in order. That's horrible. I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Um, we have a release by C.M. Noscosta. I've read two books by this author last year or this year and I really like them so I want to continue on with uh, reading books by this author. The book is called How to Marry a Marble Marquise. It comes out on February 23rd and we have a monster romance as we're used to by this author uh, that I definitely look forward to as well. Next up we have a release by T.J. Klune. 
I'm going to be honest with you, I still haven't read anything by TJ Klune yet, but I definitely want to pick up all their works. Um, the new release that will come out in 2023 will come out on April 25th. The book is called In the Lives of Puppets, and it's going to be again a fairy tale like story where TJ Klune invites you deep into the heart of a peculiar forest um, on an extraordinary journey of a family assembled from spare parts. It sounds good to me. I definitely want to pick this book up and see that I pick up more because I definitely still need to read Under a Whispering Door and what was the other one called? A House in the Cerulean Sea. I definitely need to read those as well. Next up, we have a release in March. You see, I do have releases in March. It's just that everything is jumbled up in my Excel file here. So now that we've established that I've got my date, dates jumbled up on my Excel file, I do have a release in March that I'm looking forward to. And the book is by B Celeste. I actually follow B Celeste on Instagram and I saw that she'll have a new release on her page. And the book is called Wanted You More. It is an emotional hate to love story um, and it also involves some kind of a forbidden love so sounds good to me I definitely want to pick this book up and then we have full exposure which is by Thin Kim Lam and the book involves um, a photographer and a documentary maker who meet at Mardi Gras and have a romance together. I saw the cover, I saw the synopsis, it sounded good, so I definitely want to pick it up. I haven't read anything by this author before, so I'm going to try them out and see whether I like them. And then we have probably one of the most awaited books for me because it was actually supposed to come out last year, but it was pushed back to 2023 and I actually saw Lacey and Jess from Peace Love Books uh, do an interview with Kennedy Ryan where she confirmed that the release date should be in the summer of 2023. We're looking at Score from the Hollywood Renaissance series that's supposed to come out this year, this upcoming year, and it's the book that focuses on Verity and Monk from the first book, and I'm just so excited for this romance. Seeing the fact as real and uh, Before I Let Go were in my top three reads of 2023, I don't doubt that that score will be in my top reads for 2020. Did I say 2023? Sorry. So real. <laughs> and before I let go were my top favorite reads of 2022. I definitely suspect that score will be a top read for me in the new year as well. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I love the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and the fifth book will be coming out in July of 2023 on the 18th. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking up that book as well. And then the prequel to the series, uh, the Flesh and Fire series, uh, the final book within that series will be coming out in December of 2023. So um, I'm going to be picking up that book as well. Um, the book within the Blood and Ash series is called A Soul of Ash and Blood, while the Flesh and Fire series, that book is called A Fire in the Flesh. So both of these books I'm definitely going to be looking forward to picking up. Now, we're moving on to a couple of kind of potential books. I do expect and hope that they really release in 2023, but let's wait out and see. The first one is by Elena Armas and the book doesn't have a title yet. Um, the book does involve a retired soccer player and a soccer executive and they're in a small town and there is a baby goat. <laughs> That's what I know about the book. Oh, and I do remember that Elena Armas actually posted a, um, a story on Instagram where she said that both of them are going to be grumps. That sounds good to me. I definitely want to read a book that is outside of her Spanish love deception world because I did see that it's going to be a standalone that does not involve the characters within that world. So I'm looking forward to it. And then we have the Bergman Brothers series by Chloe Lise. She's going to be possibly releasing both of those books in 2022, the 6th and the 7th. Um, we don't have a release date yet and we don't, uh, we do have a title. The first one is going to be If Only You and the second one Only and Forever. So if they come out in 2023, I definitely want to pick them up. The last book on my most anticipated releases of 2023 is by Kristen Becker Ritchie. The book is called Dishonestly Yours, but it doesn't have a release date yet. I really do hope that it releases uh, 
next year because I'm looking forward to it. At the moment it's announced as a fall 2023 release and it's a new adult romance which is pitched for fans of Outer Banks. I love Outer Banks so I really hope that I'm going to like this one. It's about best friends who make a clean break from their con artist family so they can live honestly and yeah. I really am looking forward to this one. I love Kristen Becker Ritchie. I haven't read um, the Addicted series because I'm not really into that type of romance stories. Um, it's just not for me. That's what I know. And um, I did read uh, two other books by Kristen Becker Ritchie that I absolutely love. That's Amura Amura and Infini. So yeah, those are the books that I kind of go off on to see that I really love this author duo, this sister duo, I think. So I'm really looking forward to this one and I hope that I'll like it as much as the other books that I've read by them. These were my most anticipated releases of 2023. Please let me know if I've missed any releases that I need to look out for in the new year and be on the lookout. I'm going to be posting a most wanted of 2023 video very soon. That's a different type of video than this one. I'll explain once I post what I mean by that. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to find out about new books that you want to add to your TBR. I hope to see you very soon in the next one. Have a wonderful, happy new year. I wish yourself and your families lots of health, lots of prosperity, that all of your new year's resolutions come to fruition. And let's have a wonderful 2023, everyone. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Happy reading. Take care and bye-bye.